Hey everyone, it's Gadget again, and I'm bringing you another speed paint. This time I am drawing the Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal. Uh, I love this character, and I've just recently played through the game, and I thought it would be fun to try drawing him. So what I'm doing here, I found some kind of key art from the game, uh, and I am just doing the outline as a trace, just to get his pose down, because I'm still not that good at kind of general anatomy, but I didn't want to spend too much time doing... Like, I didn't want it to be a complete trace, I just wanted to get the shapes in. So you can see I've got this kind of rough outline of him. And then I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between the picture and then just get, kind of sketching in the outlines of his armor, like trying to just get a vague understanding of his shape, of where the kind of the armor meets. And you can see me, I'm going to bounce a lot between the picture for reference here and his armor because getting the segments of his, of his chest piece in <laughs> took me forever. I'm not kidding, this was probably the hardest bit of it for me because his chest armor is, is quite complicated and it's also quite key to the look of the armor like I, I i have less detail when it comes to the armor on his legs because not as much many people know that but his chest armor i kind of go back on it kind of two or three times here trying to just get it right uh the helmet is itself is quite iconic but it's a much simpler shape whereas this there there is perspective because his torso is turned um, but the segments need to also line up with that perspective. So you can see I'm kind of going back and forth over here just to get the shape of them right. And then at one point I'll kind of scratch it all out and then get the perspective right. Um, yeah, it, th this was difficult and I, I, I'm trying to learn how to do kind of mechanical designs better. Because I like mechanical drawing. I want to be able to draw mechs and shit like that, you know, because I'm a fucking nerd. Um, but being able to get this right is a big thing for me. So, like, as well as because my goal with art as well as to do character designs and, you know, D&D stuff. So armor is a big thing and being able to kind of get this segmented part of armor right makes sense. You know, I need to be able to get that right. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just kind of doing the basic, the, the basics here, getting kind of the outlines of his of his armor. Uh, this is the second session now where I start to kind of go over things with a darker... It's still a pencil, but a darker pencil. We get the kind of the launcher on his shoulder and the blade in a bit better. And I start kind of going in on the armor and putting in the details. And I'm not trying to make this a one-to-one -one representation of him. I'm not trying to get all of the detail in his armor. I'm just trying to get the key stuff in. You'll see when I color it, actually, where, like when it comes to like, the lower armor on his legs. I don't really spend too much time with kind of shading or getting the colors. I kind of give it an overall red hue. Um, because I want it, it was supposed to be kind of a little bit comic booky in the respect. It's also why I keep a lot of the dirty lines in. I don't clean up my line work here because I kind of want that shape. I want that kind of distressed and distorted shape to him. So yeah, also you know trying to deal with the bits that are hidden behind the scenery. But yeah, kind of getting in a lot of the armor pieces and stylizing it ever so slightly, and then kind of going over the stuff I've already done. Uh, putting in as much detail into the armor as I can. It's also, like I say, it's not one-to-one. -one. I'm not trying to go for the most detailed armor. But I want to get it like a very good, if simplified, representation of what the Doomslayer looks like and, you know, what he's about. And it, what he's about is attitude and killing demons and murder and shotguns and shit like that. There is one part of this th this particular session which um, I am quite proud of doing, though. However, that is the revenant on the end of his blade. Um, I did that without, you know, just using the picture as reference without kind of tracing it in, and I was very happy with how it came out. Again, it's slightly cartoony, but you know, I got it in there. Um, I think at some point, like, there's part of me wants to learn Blender so I can like create three D versions of these characters, but that'll come in time. There, here we go. I'm starting on the revenant head. Just getting the overall shapes in, the eyes, and you know, it was super simple to get that in there. And I, as a, even though it's kind of this side bit of the picture, I really liked it. So there we have the kind of the basic shape of him down, and then we move on to doing the colors. And the colors took me ages to get right because I, I see him as green, but I think that's my color blindness. Whereas, like, when I was doing the color picker, he was kind of coming out as kind of more orange and red. And I think that might also be down to the kind of the filters over the top of the original image. Um, I have it in my head that he's supposed to be green, but that could just be my eyes. Feel free to leave a comment and correct me. Is, is he green? 
But yeah, there's there's kind of a lot of reds and a lot of browns kind of reflecting off the plates on his armor. So that's what I was kind of going for here. Um, the contrast comes quite significant. There, there is one point you'll see with the kind of the red on his codpiece just kind of stands in front of the red of everything else. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of filling the colors. And um, you, you'll notice as well, I'm deliberately not using masks. I'm coloring in by hand because I want to get the muscle memory in here. Uh, everything I've kind of drawn and done a speed paint on has been colored in by hand rather than just, you know, doing a mask, selecting everything, doing a mask, and then just kind of filling it in. I'm trying to get into the habit of drawing everything. Because that's what this challenge is about. It's me getting the muscle memory and learning how to draw. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm just, you know, getting in the base colors here. Um, that black doesn't suit right for me, and I end up keeping it, but I'm not 100% happy with it. Uh, getting his visor in, getting the right, color, right version of black in rather than the gray version, and then kind of tidying up all the edges. This one, again, I'm not naming my layers, but there are a lot of layers in this picture. There are a lot of them, lots of different colors. Um, and do, doing my best to try and see what I'm aiming for is this, because, you know, everything's color on top of color. Um, we get a soft brush here just to kind of give the highlights and the shine. We end up, I'll end up kind of lowering the opacity of this as a go. Um, but it's, yeah, just to give the shine and then just give the impression of where light is hitting him. Then obviously shadows for his armor and the bottom side of everything. His helmet, um, the, it took me a little bit to get the look of the visor right. Because it's, you know, it's, it's kind of curved glass and it's got a light source shining on it. It's quite obvious, but I've never drawn it before. <laughs> so trying to work out where the shadow should come. You can see it here. I, I'm, I'm drawing through it and like trying to get the right colors in place and trying to get the right look of the shine. Um, it took me ages and I, I just did not know what I was doing wrong here. But I eventually get it. Uh, some highlights on his kind of muscles and all that. And then we start on the sword which is, if you've played the game, is absolutely bloody awesome. Uh, this one, again, just kind of base color for the handle, um, some highlights, uh, and they're rough highlights, but you, everything kind of blends into itself quite nicely, uh, especially when I kind of put the overall filters over the top. So the sword is supposed to be see-through, so I'm using a kind of a transparent brush here, um, but the problem is you have to do it in one stroke. If you do it in multiple strokes, it kind of builds up darkness, and I didn't want that, so I basically just drew all around it and then rubbed it out. And then to get the kind of energy effect on that, we've got a white brush here, which I'm then going to do an outer glue on with Photoshop. Um, I should have put a background color in here so I could actually see what it looked like, but it actually ends up looking quite nice. Uh, next bit, kind of doing a bit more of the mechanical stuff. So just getting a kind of like a basic black and then trying to get some kind of highlights and colors and shines on. Um, again, I don't think I do it perfectly, but it, it looks all right. Again, it's not the focus. Again, very, happy with the revenant head i was really happy with the revenant head by the end of it because again playing with colors playing with different brushes trying to get it to look like what's in the original image without tracing that was the main thing that i did not want to trace the revenant head considering i traced the outline of the doom slayer but yeah i really enjoyed this this paint this was a really nice one really fun one to do and it's a character i love and i love the game uh, so yeah, a bit more mechanical detail up here. So this is for his launcher. So a different kind of color because the light's hitting it differently. Um, and then I tried doing a background. I kind of wanted to try and emulate the kind of the buildings in the background of the source image. Um, <laughs> I realized it wasn't going to get anywhere. I then kind of also wanted to do like kind of a smoky background thing going on. Uh, I ended up doing that thing that I did in the first video as well. Eventually, I forget I left it on a smudge tool. Um, and did like a fucking 5,000 pixel size brush and I actually locked up my Photoshop. You'll see me just kind of like sat there on an image. Um, it's coming, it's kind of coming shortly after. I was trying to get some smoke going in the background. Um, you can also see with using that red brush on the sword, I managed to get the transparency in there. There, this is it. It's just, it's entirely locked up because I'm an idiot and I forget these things. Like confirm my laptop has broken. The laptop was getting really hot here. So I had to kill Photoshop and open it all over again. And I lost the background work I'd done. So I did another one here and I kind of made it almost like a little bit of kind of comic pop art. Um, kind of just some basic foreground stuff like I did in the uh, D&D creature um, video. But this is pretty much it. a red filter over the top because everything in the Doomslayer's world is red and bloody and the little signature. And there we go. Look at him. He's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this paint. I thought this was 
this was a lot of fun. This was a really good one and more complicated than the ones I've done. I really like the look of it, obviously with having the red filter over the top, everything looks a bit darker. You can see I'm not 100% happy with the contrast on this kind of abdomen groin area, but it is what it is. I should have maybe put a darker color on that. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, like, subscribe, all that lovely YouTube algorithmic stuff. And I'll hopefully have something for you in the next couple of weeks, another kind of one of these multi-session paints. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.